Coming up is our Cowboys fan-led mock draft results. We did it on our Thursday Cowboys Report Live, and things got absolutely wild. We do this every single year, a fan-led mock draft where you guys decide who the pick should be for the Dallas Cowboys. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe. First round pick was Kenyon Green, the offensive lineman interior mostly out of Texas A&M. Green was the pick over guys like Traylon Burks, over Drake London and N'Kobe Dean at round one, pick number 24 overall. Wasn't that close of a vote. Green had over half of the votes. And for the record, I thought it was the right one. I think Green getting a plug-and-play starter at left guard with, by the way, Zion Johnson already off the board made a ton of sense for the Dallas Cowboys Green did not have the best athletic testing, but it wasn't bad either. So adding Green in the first round at 24 made a lot of sense for me. Larry Warford is my player comp for him. He will be a top 25 guy on my board. You fill a big-time need, you add a good player at the right value, that's a good draft pick as far as I'm concerned. Now, as I mentioned, the four options were Green, Burks, London, and N'Kobe Dean. Zion Johnson was gone. Chris Olave was gone. If you have your pick of the mostly realistic names for the Cowboys in round one, who would it be? Let me know in the comments section who you want the Cowboys to draft in the first round at pick number 24. Round two's pick was Sky Moore, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan. There were other receivers like Alec Pierce on the board. And in real life, I don't think Sky Moore falls to pick number 56. But in the end, we are always at the mercy of how things fall when it comes to the draft sims. And instead of a run on receivers before the Cowboys made their pick, there was a run on corners. Roger McCreary, Tariq Woolen, and Kyler Gordon. Boom, boom, boom. 55, 54, and 53 allowing the Cowboys to snag a top 40 player-ish for me in Sky Moore. Am I as high on him as, say, others are, like my boy Jeff Cavanaugh? No, no, I'm not. But he's an awesome football player, and I would jump at the chance to take him in round two. This would be a steal for the Cowboys. I love his release package. I love his athletic ability. He was really good at Western Michigan. He is a easy top 10 receiver for me to get him in round two. I'm going to be a home run pick. Let's talk needs then for the Dallas Cowboys. I think offensive line makes a lot of sense. You can go receiver. Maybe you're not sold on edge or corner or whatever. But what is the biggest need for the Dallas Cowboys? I'm going to make this question the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Sam Williams was the pick in the third round for the Dallas Cowboys. Dan Quinn's boy, the edge rusher out of Ole Miss. Talent-wise, he's pretty close to a top 50 player for me. So in the third round, I do like the value there a lot. My concern comes from the off-the-field stuff, which sometimes pays off for the Cowboys. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, even in recent memory, unfortunately, for Dallas. He's not a great run stopper but he does bring you really good ability as a pass rusher, and that is certainly fascinating. Uh, 12 and a half sacks, 15 tackles for loss, round up to 13 if you want to there. Uh, Whitney Merciless, athletic cop for me. Long term, this could be your new Robert Quinn is what you're hoping for there. Early on, he's going to be a DPR, a designated pass rusher. I don't trust him right now as an, an edge setter. But a 46440, if you trust the off the field stuff, this would be a steal for the Cowboys. But you got to vet the off field stuff, and hopefully, Cowboys know what they're doing there. Now, if you haven't already, please follow us on Rumble at rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. We've got exclusive content there for you guys. For example, the Rumble after hours videos we do, and we're close to catching our Giants channel on YouTube. We are on Rumble. Excuse me. We've well, not on YouTube, but Rumble, we're, we're behind. We've cut the lead to less than 100, but I want to get all the way there. So if you haven't already, 
please go follow us, rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. You can play the, their videos over there, kind of like in background on your phone. Like you don't have to have the app put up at all times. So if you want to go podcast style, Rumble's a great spot to do it. It's free on like the YouTube version, rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. Jelani Woods, the pick in round four, the tight end, who might very well go top 90, but hey, he was there. I ain't going to be mad if I get the steal there. He does turn 24 as a rookie. There's one year of good passing production, but the athletic traits are incredibly fascinating. Off the charts, athletic ability, 11 forced missed tackles. He's very long and leggy, 6'7", 253, 34-inch arms. Had a big-time breakout year for Virginia. I don't love him as a blocker, but I am very intrigued. So if he slides past other teams like the Dolphins, Raiders, Patriots, Ravens, their picks here, part of the mock draft sim for you guys, jump all over him in the back part of round four. The athletic upside is better than any tight end in this year's class. That is the potential impact you have in Jelani Woods. So he might be gone. But he was there in round four. That was a fantastic pick there by the Dallas Cowboys. So to recap them, the round, the first four, I should say, picks made by the Dallas Cowboys. Kenyon Green, Sky Moore, Sam Williams, Jelani Woods. Is there a chance that all four guys go about 30 picks earlier? Absolutely. But hey, weird stuff happens to draft. And after all, we did not think the Cowboys would be able to get CeeDee Lamb and Trayvon Diggs and Neville Gallimore all in the same class, yet they did. More steals, round five, Luke Fortner out of Kentucky. Now, this is where things started to get off the rails in the live fan-led mock draft because the rules were vote in the pin poll, and then if you want to super chat, $1 equals two votes. And there started to be some people who wanted Cade York, but Luke Fortner, who I think should go in the third round, uh, was on the board in round five, a surprising slider. This could be your new center. Worst case, he's your new backup interior offensive lineman. So I jumped all over the value, and the fans did too. I pushed like, go take Fortner. Don't take Kicker yet. Take Fortner, and they did in round five, and I was glad about that one. Now, what is your confidence level in the Dallas Cowboys when it comes to drafting players? Overall, uh, some doubts, but drafting have done a really good job relative to other teams. So scale it for me. 1 to 100 in the comment section. Your confidence level in the Cowboys drafting. Let me know what you think right now. DeMarco Jackson was the next fifth round pick, the linebacker from App State. This was a wild battle. You had to be there to believe it. Again, the rules were Super Chat $1 equals two votes. A consistent back and forth of people super chatting for Cade York, the kicker, and for DeMarco Jackson, the linebacker from App State. In the end, DeMarco Jackson narrowly run out, which again, I think is the right pick. I think he is a sleeper in this year's draft. Great production, good athletic ability, fits what the Cowboys have liked with Dan Quinn at the linebacker spot. To get Jackson in the fifth round, where I have him graded, I think would be a fantastic pick for the Cowboys. So, so far, I love what the fans did in the mock draft. Now, you can get daily Cowboys videos right here on the Cowboys Report. Subscribe if you haven't already at youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. Hit that big red button if you haven't already done so. And the Super Chat War continued with Cade York being the pick in the the third of the four fifth rounds. This was a battle between Max Mitchell and Cade York. Two fifth round picks left, separated by one selection. Back and forth, York had it, then Mitchell had it, then York, then Mitchell. In the end, York narrowly won out. Thanks in large part to the Super Chats. The Cowboys took the kicker. Go figure, right? That's the route they ended up going in the fan-led mock draft. So I am curious. When it comes to kickers early in the NFL draft, round five, would you take one? Because if you get an Evan McPherson, you're hyped. If you get Roberto Aguayo, you're kind of sad. I think there is a very good chance the Cowboys take a kicker in this year's class. But I want to hear from you guys. The voters eventually took one. But what do you guys think? 
Would you go? Would you draft a kicker this year? Why for yes or and for no? Max Mitchell, who was the runner-up into the Cade York Super Chat Battle, ended up winning the uh, pretty easily the fifth round version, the final fifth round pick. Mitchell, who I think PFF in particular is really high on, I'm not quite as high. But I think this is great value. I think I see swing tackle. I think that's what you're looking for when you get to the fifth round. You would love to find a developmental guy. These guys don't last very often. Mitchell in round five would be a very good pick by the Cowboys. Worst case, he's your tackle four or practice squad guy. And just inside the top 200, you know, that's sometimes all you end up getting from that standpoint. So Mitchell in the fifth, I liked, and I loved this pick. Neil Farrell, the defensive tackle out of LSU, who I am higher on than most people. I saw this past year, better burst off the defensive line. He reminds me of a bigger version of Antoine Woods, who does offer you a little bit more burst than you might expect as a nose guard. Fatty's only lives with the pick of Neil Farrell. He and Quinton Bohanna can compete for the run-stopping defensive tackle role. Remember, it's a six-round pick. Normally, those guys don't end up being superstar player for you unless his name is Tom Brady in the end. So those were the picks of the Cowboys fan-led mock draft plus some of my analysis. So, great, at least if you were voting, your own paper. The Cowboys fan-led mock draft. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments how you felt about what the Cowboys did in this fan-led mock draft. And if you weren't paying attention, a quick recap of the picks. Kenyon Green, offensive guard from AM in round one. Sky Moore, receiver in round two. Sam Williams in the third, the edge from Old Miss. Jelani Woods out of Virginia, the tight end in round four. The four round five picks then, all in a row, right? Luke Fortner, center guard from Kentucky. DeMarco Jackson, linebacker, App State. Cade York, kicker from LSU. Max Mitchell out of Louisiana, a tackle. And finally, Neil Farrell Jr., a defensive tackle, run-stopping nose guard out of LSU to round out the Cowboys fan-led mock draft. As a reminder, we'll be live for the entirety of the NFL draft on the Chat Sports YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com slash chatsportstv.